Me? This guy. No, oh. no, Boombox oh. Brian. Is he allowed to say it? I don't know. At that time, he can say whatever. <laughs> in 1990? In 1990, bike, nobody with, cared. He's blasting, he's blasting N-words all over the place. Oh, with that, okay. With that yeah, radio. nobody cared. They no didn't, cares. you know, the, yeah. the past didn't exist he's yet. Hit, he's, he's hitting chicks in the ass. He's it was doing all this shit he can't do now. It was, before the, it was before today's times. It was a different time. That's what they said. I'm not very aroused right now. <laughs> Uh, but my name is David Bacon, and yes, everything is better with me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, everything. Welcome back, welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Oh. You need each other cards! Welcome Comedians, opening cards, no coffee. It's a Friday night. We're down in like Swansea at the open mic at Frog Brewing, and I'm here with one of the co, what's it called, uh, hosts, uh, Bobby. Bobby Teriyaki. Uh, mm, yummy. Um, so, uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Doing it for a few years. Started during COVID. I was uh, violating every law known to man uh, in a bowling alley. It was great. And oh, to do comedy. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. And yeah, you know some other things, but we don't have to talk sure. about those right now. Um, yeah, and it's been a few years, and we're out here hosting a mic at a local brewery. We're having a great time, and we're after the show, and there's tons of cards in front of me. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what these cards are from, how they were obtained. Yeah, eBay. Even. So, Allegedly. what we're going to do, so you, well, I'm not lying. So, <laughs> just pick something out, something that speaks to you, something maybe you remember, whatever it is you want. Um, open them up, talk to them, talk to me about them, and, uh, you know, um, some people oddly have eaten the gum. Um, no, no, that can't be safe. I don't know why. Five, five or six people have eaten the gum. Five or six people? Wow. Did they survive? They all have, but no, I mean, Norman didn't really care. Simeon Gold, uh, Goodson, it dissolved. Josh Ademeyer spit it out. You know, usually it's a spit out sort of thing. Yeah, so it's we're going to wait good. a couple years for the cancer to develop. Yeah, yeah but yeah. they can't pin it on me. Oh, exactly. It's, it's traceable. Yes. Okay. How, how, so how, I'm know. assuming there's uranium in these cards. <sighs> He's going rad dudes. Only the second person to pick rad dudes. Uh, Lowell Broward, who is a clown in New York City, was the first person to pick rad dudes. A clown. And what's your name? Lola Broward. Wow, where do you clown? Around here. No, 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 no. <laughs> on, uh, on Thompson Street at Sunflower Arcade Lounge. What, and what and, and what does that entail? What does what entail? The clowning. Oh, it's a big thing. It's a whole thing. Right, because it's is a it, lot of stuff. Like, it's like theater and also jokes. Because that's where um, the dude who like, uh, the one clown. No. The freaking guy who made all those movies, uh, Borat, oh, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, Sasha Baron Cohen yes, studied clowning in, in France with Fr Goyer. Yes. Is that the kind of thing that you're, is that that? I'm uneducated, but essentially, yes. Okay, that's, right? It's, yeah. that, it's that kind of mm -hmm. clown, like it's a, that, that's what you mean by it's a whole thing. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, now that we've established this. Yay! Um, so, there's a bunch of cards. Um, you're a comedian, and you just go through. I'm gonna open them. You're gonna open one, and then <laughs> you're gonna talk about it. You're gonna tell me why you picked that one, um, and then you're gonna sign one of them, and then you can keep the other parts if you so desire. Okay. Some people have eaten the Do gum. I, some of I, them have gum. I don't there's recommend gum it. In here? Oh, sure. Some of them. Some of them. Oh, Yours did not have gum. Oh my god. Magnum would probably have gum. Oh, you know no. the old ones. How long have you been collecting these? Um, not very. Some of these are like oh, repeats. I came like up with reprints. Oh, shit. Uh, well, no, there's no reprints. I, do oh, I have multiples of many. What is this? What is I came up with the idea in May. What do you? This help one? Me, help me. Oh, it's on the other It's side. probably. Rad dudes. Rad dudes. Rad dudes. Let's see a rad dude. Oh, you're going with rad dudes. Rad dudes. That's awesome. Now, why did you pick rad dudes? Because I love rad dudes. <laughs> I love how rad they are. Fascinating. Yeah. Okay. So if he turns out to she, uh, she, she, if she turns out to be the uh, John Wayne Gacy successor, um, you know, I'll have something to my name finally. Yeah. You know? Right. Well, yeah. Just having opened the same similar pack. Exactly. The, the Tangentially, I'll be able yeah. to tell it at a bar. I don't even think you would tell that story. I, I might. Maybe you would though. Actually, I don't think you understand how unexciting my life is. I think that's really what it comes down to. 
Well, you mentioned things that were unspeakable that you were doing during COVID well, exactly. at the bowling alley. Well, that's the word. So, unspeakable. unspeakable. Exactly. Uh, okay. So, um, a lot of mind work. Exactly. <laughs> so, we've got uh, Boogie Board and Bob. This was, no. See, this is fate right here. Same name. He's homoerotic, just like me. You know, he's showing his chest off. Uh, this is just fantastic. I love everything about it. More uh, hair. He's got, his hair is crazy, though. He's, he's like up. Exactly. More meaning, like, he's got weight, more twice, volume. Exactly. He's got twice the hair I have. Um, this is, you know, you guys just met me. Uh, you don't know a lot about me. I'll tell you something. I have a terrible hairline. It's going back like I forgot something at the supermarket, you know? Um, it's terrible. They call me, uh, they'd say I look like Avatar, the last vape smoke vendor. You know, the arrow coming down the middle. It's terrible. But this guy, I wish I had this guy's hair. I swear to God. Um, is he? No, does he have like flippers on? He does. He does have flippers. I don't even know what he's. It's a boogie board, but yeah. he's clearly got more stability than I have. So yeah. this is a fantastic card. Love to open it. I can't imagine there's anything that's going to beat this guy. Mm, I don't know. Cannonball Corey. Uh, he looks angry. He looks angry at the water. Oh wow! And it looks like he made some poor decisions in his life. I can I, relate to this man. Like these cards are probably from the '80s. I don't. I, I think he's Thanks. actually wearing real shoes, not wearing like. Bathing, I don't even think they had those bathing shoes at the time. Oh, they might, they might, and they might be waterlogged. Yeah. I'm not sure, but this is from 1990. Oh, okay. Fascinating uh, things going on. We have, I, I just can't imagine what led up to this man's decision making that he's so angry. Do you think his wife left? Do you think she took the kids? I don't know. All I can do is empathize with it. It might be Butthead or Beavis or one of them. I don't know. What is Rad Dudes? What is well, we don't, it's just the way that they, it's, I don't know. It's, you know, I, we totally missed the unpackaging. It I looks, know. It's, I took it out because it was, it was loosely, but this is the packaging. I thought it would be some type of a radiation thing, and I get really autistic about radiation. I know everything Because about. you thought the rad meant radiation. Yes, you thought it was exactly. radioactive how, dudes. Yeah, that's how bad it is. I love learning about nuclear energy and, like, nuclear bombs and shit. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I don't know what strain you, of autism You I could have opened the terrorist attack cards, which do oh, have man. a nuclear bomb card. This is devastating news. This is devastating news. I might have to come back for episode another episode yeah. to follow up. But uh, I guess we'll keep going through these rad dudes. We have Nerdy Nathan. Um, I don't... The design of this card, now hold on. It's Bill Gates and he's taking over the world. Bill Gates, but why is he thick as fuck, bro? Why is he double-cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon? I mean, my God, look at that fucking thing. You can hear that. You can hear him coming a mile away. God damn, I hate to see him coming. I love to watch him lose. Nerdy Nathan, Jesus Christ. He's been taking those estrogen supplements, you know what I'm saying? He's got hips. Saying. He's got hips. He does. We're moving on to uh, Busted Ben. Mr. Arnold is a fat pie. Oh, wow. We have some cartoon eyes popping out, maybe some steam coming out of the ears, the tongue rolling out of the head. He's just seen a beautiful woman in the 1940s, similar to the way Tom and or Jerry would react. Um, it's really a beautiful thing. What's he busted doing? Is he? Because that's his reaction to being busted, right? He's got some sort of uh, possibly chalk, oh. or maybe depending on how we're thinking about this phallic object, I'm not maybe sure. Maybe it's a joint. It could be a joint. It could be a cigarette. Um, he's got some. Because uh, his eyes are all uh, bloodshot, so I think he's high. Is that from? Uh, is it Dying from eyes. being high or seeing a beautiful woman? We'll never know. Oh, yeah. well, just seeing a beautiful woman—that's not a little evil. Yeah, that's true. We're moving on. Maybe he was watching her. It's possible. I mean, Jesus, Volleyball Val. Hold yeah. on. They need to relax with these cards. These were 1990. People didn't even know. People didn't have, you know, distributable images of things that might get us demonetized here <laughs> yet. Uh, so this was all we had. This was all we had in 1990, even though I wasn't born yet. This is all they had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, volleyball Val. I would have kept this in my wallet, uh, possibly in a pocket right here. Volleyball Val, I would have kept her with me. Beautiful, for um, just recreational purposes. <laughs> yeah. And Anything I'm, to think about having a ball near her face. Yeah, that's, you get, we're getting crazy. Uh, we have Chemical Chris. Uh, this oh, guy wow. Doing acid for the first time uh, in 1990, apparently. He was making it cool. The most annoying guy you've ever met, uh, this guy's responsible. He's the one who distributed the acid. Um, any dude who's way too connected with nature, mushrooms, acid of any variety, um, this guy's responsible. I'll tell you that much. That's all I can see. They're all rad dudes, man. Exactly. <laughs> what a rad dude. Rad dude. 
We're moving on to Pitch and Pete here. Uh, not much of a baseball fan, but uh, we're from around Boston, so I kind of have to support the Red Sox. And uh, I don't know what team he's a part of, but it looks like he's sending a beautiful pitch out here. Um, furthermore, Boombox Brian. Oh, that's this great. is definitely. Um, is he white? I can't tell. On bike. Well, he's mixed race. He's mixed race. Is that what he said? Is he allowed to say it? Me? Same this guy? Me. No, oh. be, no. Boombox oh. Brian. Is he allowed to say it? I don't know. At that time, he can say whatever. <laughs> In 1990, in on 1990, his bike, nobody he's blasting, he's blasting N words all over the place. Oh, with that, okay. With that yeah, radio. nobody cared. They no didn't, cares. you know, the, yeah. the, the past didn't exist he's yet. Hit, he's he's hitting chicks in the ass. He's it was doing all sorts of shit he can't do now. It was before the. It was before today's times. It was a different time. That's what they said. Yeah. When the when the dudes were rad. Exactly. <laughs> they they were rad dudes. And the chicks were playing volleyball. Exactly. Uh, we have running back Ryan, beatbox Brian, and running back Ryan. Do you think they're related? Oh, they totally are. Definitely. Their name's Ryan. Parents are doing that shit 24-7, you know? They're either rhyming or naming them after Game of Thrones characters. It's getting crazy today. Um, and, you know, Game of Thrones didn't exist in 1990, so... They must be siblings. That's all I have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, Stunt Bike Steve. This guy's, you know, he's got some gymnastic... All I'll say is I hope this guy doesn't get sent to prison for anything. That's all I'll say about Stunt Bike Steve. Once you put the boom box down, then you yeah. can start doing tricks. Exactly. Boom oh, this box is just... Bobby or whatever it was. No, that's you. Brian put, yeah, Brian, put some respect on Brian's name. Brian doesn't do any tricks because he's holding that big heavy box, but freaking Steve can do some badass tricks because he's not holding that thing. Exactly. They're in the same friend group for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, They're both red dudes. Steve might have some allegations that he's not going to beat in the state of you know, New Hampshire. So... Uh, this is fantastic. Awesome. And hey, just... Is there a pen still around? Oh, there was one. Uh, we'll give you... I had a marker, but you just sign one, then you can keep the others if you so desire. Absolutely. Um, God, I you feel like... A marker. Yeah, I feel like I gotta do Boogie Board Bob. Boogie Board Bob. I mean, that's, that's the me. first one, wasn't it? You won't... Oh, because you're Bobby. Exactly. We can't... We can't... Um, you know, he's got the head of hair I always dreamed of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the marker is. Oh, well. Um, I can sign it with a pen. Yeah, just sign it with a pen if that works. Okay. Pick a side and whatever. Alright. Awesome. Well, again, thanks for doing the show and thanks for uh, hosting the co-hosting the mic and stuff. It was awesome. Absolutely. Great spot. This was great. I'm glad I got to meet every rad dude and this one behind the camera. Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, this was some great content. That's all it is. It's YouTube content, people. Go watch live comedy. That's how to do it. Alright, bye. Hello, uh, from Brewing. It's a 580, not 420 in this uh, town, I think, and uh, I'm glad we can all drop some F-bombs, but I think if you drop them, they actually don't like it here. And uh, I'm glad no one's playing beer pong in a freaking video game form. That might be the saddest thing I've ever seen. Um, I think you can play that game for free if you just have these red cups, but maybe this place gets quarters or 50 cents or dollars or whatever. Uh, I hope all you, I don't know if you guys, did you see that Barbie film? Anyone see that Barbie movie? Uh, because of you, I think, um, who makes that? Milton, who makes the Barbie? Uh, Mattel. Mattel makes uh, that shit. They also make like Uno. I think there's like 40, and I'm not, I don't know the number. It's like 40 or 50 freaking stupid toy game things that are now in production. Honestly, they're working on making an Uno movie. That, in the future, a movie about the game Uno because you all watched Barbie. Uh, I know they made Clue back in the day. They made different endings, I think. I never saw that. Um, I like that they have the frogs here. Uh, if anyone wants to play uh, Banana Grams later with me, I'd love to do that. Um, I don't see any of the coloring things, but there's a lot of crayons. Uh, I'm not gonna do that stuff. Um, the thing I'm most curious about in this environment is what is the next painting going to be? Because we have an empty canvas, but it's slightly hidden behind. I don't know if we'll have to move the beer pong away to fill up the painting or what they'll do. That's my banter. I'm not very aroused right now. Uh, but my name is David Bacon, and yes, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, everything, 
Embarrassingly, I'm still learning to read, so I'm going to be practicing tonight with this little notepad. Teacher, be proud! I'm actually cheating. It's like comics want you to, they want to pretend, they want to pretend that they haven't prepared the material, so they memorize it. But none of them did well in school. So I'm just going to cheat, like I did in school. That's why I'm in a bar. And I'm, well, I'm not old as, there's older people and there's younger people. And they came in, there's like a little kid, and I'm like, okay, I can't say the F-bomb, but then it's on the wall. So I guess I can. Um, I don't know how much time we get, but my four minutes or five, or it might be too meta for this young crowd. Uh, I mean Metamucil. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys! That's my political joke. <laughs> I, wish, I wish you guys were hotter and could stay up. Uh, so what year is this? 2024. Oh, uh, I was gonna say that's not a rhetorical question, but you, you guys answered. So I'm gonna have to go back a page. I'm going to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. So what year is this? <laughs> Didn't we just establish that I was going to say that's a rhetorical question? I'm going to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. These freaking people are answering my rhetorical question. Wait, do I want? I don't know if I want <laughs> I want to be aroused. Uh, uh. So we're almost a quarter of the way into the 21st century. Oh, I get the light. With some fun new inventions? Not all good. Still this crappy mic. Uh, we kind of have self driving cars, but if you put traffic on their head, they pay a dead on the head. Boo hoo. We're getting scary and scary robot dogs. You can mount guns on them now, but they're becoming both cops and robbers. Boo. Uh, uh, no poo. Uh, can't play the really deadly game for the kids. Uh, Red Rover, Red Rover, stay the F away, F bomb. Uh, but shoo. Uh, but even though comedy isn't the biggest of the members, give or take that ideas. What the fans? Why are we still on the. Uh, uh, bye. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so Dave. Much.